Hey guys, guess who's back? I promised I'd return, and I did. Now if you can hear that fan whining sound, that is because I'm still on my laptop. My wind force has not come in yet, so I can't really use my PC build. It's almost all set. I promise you, you'll be getting some crazy stuff in the near future. About a week to wait. But without further ado, I'd like to play a game which I know very well. Well, not the game itself. I've seen the anime. And this, my friends, is Higurashi. The Noro no Nikai. Or Higurashi when they cry, you know, if you like the English dub. I don't prefer it. I definitely recommend you watch it with subs, because the English version, it just seems like they're not trying. Well, some of the actors, anyways. Some are really darn good, so... Kudos for them. They did a good job. Anyways, I've been wanting to play this game for so long, I didn't know how to get it for the longest time. Found it on Steam, and Chapter 1 was just on there, and I got so giddy with excitement, I had to buy it. So, without further ado, I said it for the second time, let's, let's start this game. Now, for those of you new to visual novels, this is going to be great. Don't be sad. The world may not forgive you, but I do. Don't be sad. You may not forgive the world, but I forgive you. Tell me, what must I do to earn your forgiveness? Fedrica Bernstein. This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to any actual persons or organizations is just really... 8, 8, 1983. Ooh! Early summer of the 50th year in the show era. Text speeds a little fast. If I was going to be ripped apart anyways, having my body ripped apart would have been so far better. I trusted her. No, I still trust her. Even in this very moment, I trust her. But I'm starting to realize I only wanted to trust her because I refused to accept the truth. It was as if I was trying to convince myself in such a silly, sobbing voice, in those tears, those tears making a mess of my face, that mechanical, repetitious sound finally stilled, and everything fell silent. Only the cry of the cicadas remained, annoyingly loud, and yet, I felt as if I could still hear her voice. But that's not possible. She is no longer speaking. The only one crying is me. She never cried. Even when she repeated those words over and over, she never expressed any emotion, because there was none to show. If she had no tears to shed for me, then I shouldn't need to shed any for her. Then why this pain, my eyes getting moist? Why was this happening? I still want to believe. I hadn't been split apart. It's enough, right? Inside me, an inner voice whispered gently. My spirit had suffered enough. And countless times I'd wavered over whether I should just throw the battered thing away. Except I've stubbornly refused to do that, haven't I? I'd feel better if I just threw it away. Even knowing that I chose to believe, didn't I? Only I can understand the painful struggle and appreciate it. Hey, me? I've cried more than enough. I'll acknowledge that much. So, isn't it all right to just take the easy way out? Besides, I'm not throwing it away. I'm leaving it behind, with her. Like flowers by a grave. Now then, calm your nerves, even though you can't feel your right arm, just lift it up, and with every swing, forget a little more. Ooh, that kindness made me happy. That adorable smile brought me joy. I like petting your head. 
I loved how demure you were. Because this will be the last time. Because when I swing this down, I'll forget. This is my first and last bouquet for you. Perhaps I really did love you. Higurashi, when they cry. Somebody's been apologizing for a while. All the stupidest Steam notifications. Quick save, just in case. Uh, I don't know how to play this. Oh, you just click, okay. I wonder what she's apologizing for. I felt wrong to eavesdrop, so I tried to ignore it. It had been a while since I last went to the city. I only returned to attend the funeral of a relative. Even though I'd lived there but until the last month, you know, I found the bustle of the city to be overwhelming. Those skyscrapers and the multi-lane roads. The melodious cacophony. The sidewalk and the crosswalk. Even the campaign speeches blaring in front of the station felt nostalgic. The place where I live now is nearly as lively. There's only the chirping of the locusts and the babbling of the rooks. And now, the cry of the garage. The evening scares. Rather than make me feel lonely, that quietness had begun to instill a sense of serenity. There's nothing where I'm living now. I don't just mean there is, aren't any burger joints. There aren't even vending machines. No music stores, no restaurants, and no arcades. Even an ice cream parlor would be unlikely. The nearest town is some stuff like that, but it's an hour away by bike. But come to think of it, it wasn't really a big deal. There were music stores and arcades and ice cream parlors, but it wasn't like I ever hung out at any of them. I lived in the city for ten years, and never once had I been to an ice cream parlor. I should have gone at least once. It's only now that I'm starting to regret that I... a little. Somebody's still apologizing. Who is she apologizing to? She's apologized so much, so just forgive her already. There's no reason anyone should ever need to apologize so much. I started to feel a bit annoyed at whoever was refusing to forgive her. No matter how bad the mistake, there's nothing that can't be forgiven. There's no such thing as an irreparable mistake. You just need to be more careful next time. She's still apologizing. Even now. Then, has she really done something that can't be fixed? I have no idea what she's done, but if it can't be fixed, then that's all the more reason to forgive her. No matter how much she apologizes, nothing will change. But even so, she keeps apologizing in such a heartbreaking voice. Hey, you! The one she's apologizing to! Why don't you just go ahead and forgive her? She's apologizing in such a pathetic voice. Keiichi, we're almost there! Wake up! I was finally roused from my nap by my father's prodding. Jeez. Ain't that a grandfather voice? Keiichi, we're almost there. Wake up! It seemed the train had reached its final stop. We'd spent hours riding everything from the bullet train to the local routes. It was hard to believe that the landscape beyond the window in the city I was in half a day ago were in the same country. No. That they were even from the same era. From there, we'd take a car deeper into the mountains.
It's getting cool. Past where the dense forest and encroaching on the mountain road suddenly opened up. Oh. There, where I live now. Hinemozawa. Hinemozawa. And there begins our story. So how have you guys been? I'm curious. Good days, bad days, rainy days, snowy days. Tell me about it in the comments below. Even though we were approaching summer, the morning air still had a frigid bite. That, that's, that's Massachusetts right now. 40 degrees and June 1st. No, June 2nd. Although, in exchange, you can fill a young <laughs> lungs up with crisp clean air. There we go. Flipping open the window, I was greeted with a verdant expanse. Nothing but trees. The neighboring house was far away from the other side. Uh, so far. So I was probably the only one enjoying that view in that air. I filled my lungs with another deep breath. Since I started living in Hinamazawa, I learned that air, even air had its own taste. Dun, 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 dun. I quickly finished getting ready for school and headed downstairs for breakfast. My mother was the only one there. My father was nowhere to be seen. Of course, right? He was probably up working until the early morning. Dad had a rather unconventional job as a painter. That's not unconventional, that's awesome! It's such a laid-back profession. <laughs> Get up when you want, sleep when you want, and work when you want. I was so jealous of that easygoing lifestyle. Even wrote for school that I wanted to be a painter when I grew up. Dad was so ecstatic about that. It was just because I looked easy. I'd never tell him that, you know. I thought that though. Mum laid breakfast out of the table. Seaweed, pickled vegetables, raw egg, and grilled salmon. Oh, that sounds great actually. Mum was such a good cook. It was scary. Perfect, immaculate, ideal breakfast. Unlike my dad, who didn't even know the meaning of the word schedule. My mom never squandered any time or effort. She hummed a little tune as she brought over the miso soup. It seemed like she was in a good mood today. I'm so happy you've been waking up so early since we've moved here, Keiichi. If I don't wake up early, I won't have time to eat breakfast. I thought I was being cute, responding with a wisecrack after being praised for being good. Full bowl of rice? Or will half be enough? Pile it on! <laughs> I like Keiichi. First I savored the steamy hot rice with the seaweed. After that I covered it with egg. Between bites of rice I enjoyed the crunch of the pickles. Not bad at all. Man, this is a good breakfast. Oh. Excellent as usual. Watch me clean my plate. Mom gave me a warm smile. I'm so happy you haven't skipped breakfast ever since we moved to Yakeichi. I was not a morning person when we lived in the city. I wouldn't be either. I slipped right into the last minute before right. Right before school and really breakfast. Boycotting the breakfast Mom made me each morning. That was probably the only way I could protest being forced to attend cram school. I guess that was what you call my rebellious face. I wouldn't so much as look at the breakfast she woke up early every day to make. Yeah, did you guys go through a rebellious phase? I think everyone kind of did it. Were you as bad as KG, or were you a little bit, you know, nuttier? I know I was. If I could go back in time, I'd slap myself. Yes, yeah, same here. Mindful of the time, Mom rushed me along with a wide grin. Isn't it about time to meet up with Renatron? Hurry, hurry! Mom really seemed to enjoy the fact that her son was going to school with a girl. Uh, why wouldn't a mom be so ecstatic about that? It's, uh, that really never happened to me. Renna is one of my classmates. She really loves looking after people, coming to meet me every day without fail. The way I looked at it, a guy my age walking to school with a girl was just lame. 
Well, keeping a classmate waiting for me every day wouldn't be very considerate. Seriously though, how long is Renna wait there for me every morning? I don't know, maybe she likes you. I don't just Put it out there, man. Picking one last gulp of miso soup, I race for the door. Please thank Renna Chan for the pickles. Come to think of it, those pickles weren't store bob, were they? If I know that, I would have saved them a bit more. Morning! Wow, I'm liking this visual story. Oh my god, yes! Keiji Kun! Good morning! Her cheerful greeting was as fresh as the morning itself. You're always so early! You should try sleeping in sometime. If I sleep in, I'll always be. always keep you waiting! Uh, my, my female voice isn't that good, huh? She's so concerned, conscientious in such a good person, ah! Uh. If that ever happens, I'll just leave you behind. Keijiku, you're so cold! I'll wait for you here all the time! Okay, right, I'll leave you in the dust. Without cooking, oh, looking back, oh, cooking back, that's, uh, that's how you, that's how you look back in Japan, you gotta cook stuff. Why are you so mean? Why? Rena had a slightly troubled look on her face. You know, wonder. Toying with her was rather fun because of how quickly her mood changed. Ah, oh, Cage, you beast! I'm kidding. I'd wait for you. Oh, coming back with that. He knows what's up. With those words, Rena seemed to relax. Her face flushed bright red. Ah, <laughs> thank you. I'd wait forever until you came, Rena. No matter how long. Oh, he's so kind. <laughs> For forever? Rena turned bright red, steam rising out of her head as her brain short-circuited. She's especially weak to this sort of talk. My god, it's so quite... It's quite rare to find someone this fun to tease. Have you ever read the romance novel, Rena? Huh? Nah, I'm gonna stop with the female talk, I can't do it. Uh, I haven't. I've never read any before. In that response, I gathered she was interested in them, but I was too embarrassed to actually buy one. I couldn't imagine what would happen if she did read one. Oh, she'd probably turn red and pass out. Oh yeah, message from Mom. She says thanks for the pickles. It, it, it was nothing. You're welcome. How were they? Not too salty. They weren't that salty. Actually, they had a pretty light flavor to them. It would have been fine to just be honest and say they were good, but apparently I couldn't be that forthright. I'd like to add something before that. Were you the one who pickled them, Renna? Or was it your mom? Huh? Huh? Why do you ask? Where, where were they too salty? Her attitude completely changed as she began to panic frantically. <laughs> oh my god, this kid is a legend. Uh, getting a text, give me two seconds. No, I'm kidding. Let's go right into this. Was it you, Retta? Or was it your mom? But why are you asking who made them? Why? Depending on who made them, my opinion of them might change drastically. <laughs> she counted frantically on her fingers, trying to remember the amount of salt she used to pickle them. It wasn't like I was trying to tease her, but I couldn't stop myself. Guys who take pleasure in this kind of thing are probably the worst guys like me. But I nervously opened and closed her mouth over and over, trying to muster a response. So that's what that wheel does. Oops. It, it was me. Delicious. Huh? Pretty good, just like the last ones. They went perfectly with the rice. Her face went bright red again. She was completely spacing out. It was truly a lot of fun to tease her. I pray that Renna never gets taken advantage of by some lowlife. Then just 
ask her out yourself, dude. Be nice. Keep at it, Renna. I'll train you until you handle it like an average person. Oh, or so I decided for myself. Um, let's go. If we keep keep me on waiting, I'll never hear the end of it. Uh, in the anime, they say Mion, and then there's in the dub, the dub it's Mion, and uh, I'm just gonna say Mion because I think it's the correct way to pronounce it. Let me know in the comments if you think it's Mion instead of Mion. Seeing as she just keeps spacing out or otherwise, I call it running back so two realities so we could make our way back to school, or just to school at least. This strange, easily flustered girl is running Ryugi. Ryugu! I've only known her for about a month, but I've begun to realize it's not just a name that's strange. It's a life force! I'm kidding, of course. Michan, good morning! Carry up to the next rendezvous point. We saw another person waiting for us. <gasps> Is it Mion? Sorry, I'm texting you real quick. I'll be back in two seconds. I'm kidding. Immerse yourself in this. Noticing us, she waved. Oh my god! It's anime accurate! Ah, finally, finally! You two are late! Usually they're the one who's late. In sharp contrast to the diligent Rena, <laughs> this will march to the beat of her own drum. She's Myon Sonazaki. For what it's worth, she's a senior and head of the class. Good morning, Rena. It's been a while, Kate Shan. How many years? I was only two days off. You don't say. He was so much cuter back then. Mion's gaze started at my chest and dropped straight down, focusing to the point between my legs. Oh, I see. So she was saying it was my crotch that was cuter back then. Gotcha. Before we ask, just to be clear, I've never actually tried to show it to her. I've grown quite. Oh my god, this <laughs> is ridiculous. You were quite bold, man. You'd be surprised. Oh my god! <laughs> Not only is he bigger, but he's a little mustache now. Being so engorged with energy every morning is quite a problem though. This dude is so freaking sarcastic, it's ridiculous. I'll just see you next time. So be sure to greet him properly. Don't see you next time. Right now is just fine. <laughs> Dude, do breathe some fresh air this morning air. Oh my god. Everything I've ever heard. Dirty talk. I never, I never think I... Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm flipping out of here. This is ridiculous. You follow me. I don't think I've ever heard talk so dirty you could smell it following up in the morning air before. Mion sure does act like an old man sometimes. Gotcha. Time for the big reveal. How we ever regret it? As it reached... Rena began to ramble in near panic. As my hand reached... Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about?! Hey. What are you talking about?! What are you talking about?! Red faced and flustered, Rena tried to play dumb, but it was obvious she knew exactly what we were talking about. How is it? Seeing the city again. Man switched gears, dropping the dirty talk and changing the topic to something more befitting the present morning. A pleasant, sorry. I'm late. That hurt. I only went for a funeral. I didn't have much time, so yeah. Did you look for it? That thing I asked you for? You're not listening at all. I just came back from a funeral. I didn't have any time to look around toy stores. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Toy stores are hobby shops, and hobby shops are completely different, you know. 
It's really difficult to get western stuff around here after all. Is this about games again, Mi-chan? Mian nodded proudly as Brother giggled. Yep. Why well, occasion to bring me back a West Portal catalog to see? Westport was short for Western Important Games. Using that abbreviated <laughs> Using that abbreviation did make it sound pretty geeky. And just get them and send get them to send you one in the mail, can't you? Well, guess I have to now. I'm gonna get another game full of hot action. But this time I like a game that's easy to understand. Because, you know, English and Japan are not Japanese are not really, you know, compatible languages unless you translate really well. Mia's a board and card game enthusiast, and I hear she's collected quite a lot of different ones. According to Rena, Mian's room has kind of become a museum for domestic and foreign games. If there's a game you think you don't understand, let me know and let me play too. I'm, I'm reading bad. No good talk time. <laughs> of course. If k Chan is up for it, I should warn you though. We're pretty tough. But, it's what I want. I play all sorts of games, I don't intend to lose, okay? Whoa! Then, well, I'll let you in the group this time. I guess. I guess. Bristling with joy with the head to toe, and I look back and forth between me and Mian. Mian gave her an affirmative wink, and her expression perked up even further. I thought boys prefer playing outside more, so I figured you wouldn't want to. Rina laughed happily. From such a friendly conversation, you wouldn't think I had moved here less than a month ago. I understood that I made I made friends quite easily when I moved. Yeah, when I was a little kid, I moved. I was about four or five and moved from uh, Milford to where I am in now, which is quite a big step from an apartment building. I made friends quite easily. I literally first day two girls just came up to my house and said, hey, can we play with your little boy you have over here? And they happen to know my name. I don't know how they did, but they just knew it. It was really creepy. Anyways, I, back to the game, I understood what they did, uh, all they could to make a transfer student like me feel at home. They're so nice. I'll have to try harder to fit in so they won't feel like they have to try and make me feel welcome. I feel like if I acted a bit more open than I usually am, it should probably be about right for this place. I'm enjoying this so far. How about you guys? Would you like more visual novels in the future? If I can get my hands on them? I'm, I'm getting I'm getting Clint out in November. I I did fund that help fund that uh, kickstart for the uh, English version of that game. I am getting that in November, don't worry. Hinamazawa was a really small village. Not only was there only one school, but there was only one class. That class encompasses all different grades and ages. There are about 30 students at different levels, and they all study in the same class. I'm told that long ago there used to be a bigger school building, and they had actual separate classes. However, it seems something happened that made it become a single class, and now it stayed that way, out of tradition. That'd be weird. Every grade in one classroom? At the same time? I was shocked at first, but humans adapt pretty quickly. I've already forgotten, I've already gotten quite used to it. The sound of children playing started right in front of the right from the morning. It was such a lively mood, it felt more like a kindergarten than a proper school. Not that that was a bad thing, of course. You know, playing games is normal in, you know, school situations. Mian, who had been walking in front of us until then, suddenly let me take the lead. Right in front of the classroom door. So I was meant to slide the door open and enter the room first. <laughs> Too bad. I wasn't going to fall for that again. To think you'd give up the lead here. You meant for this to be a test of my skills. <laughs> yeah, I'd chuckle for the haughty smirk on her face. But what is it, you guys? Step back, Renna. It's dangerous. She's here. Huh? Then. Satoko Chan is. Her name was Satoko Hojo. 
She was disrespectful, impudent, and bossy kid. I probably butchered that, but it's okay. We're having fun here, right? Good. The way she talked was annoying, but it would be immature to get work up over just that. The real problem was this. I really hope my mouse isn't just in the middle of the story. Quite a, quite the obvious trap. A blackboard eraser wedged in the door. It's too obvious, Sadako. A haughty laugh came from beyond the door. Oh, that's not the laugh, by the way. Excellent, Kei-chan. I guess that means you win this round. No, this is Sadako we're talking about. I doubt this is it. After falling for such intricate traps since the day I transferred, I no longer let my guard down. Sadako liked to combine a variety of traps. Traps that were simply there to bait you into the main one. Traps that relentlessly kept coming at you like a sadistic Rube Goldberg machine. The list goes on and on. As well as being clever, they almost never misfire, which is nice for intellectual reasons. But when you least expect it, she strikes. No escape, no time to relax. Oh crap, not again. By the looks of it, this eraser is normal. No rocks or anything in it. I took a pretty heavy hit from a blackboard eraser loaded with rocks my first day. Yeah, that, 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 that sounds pretty ouch inducing. So then why don't you just open the door and let it drop? That's what it is! That's what Sadako was after. Making me focus my attention upward, so as I lifted my hand to the door, there were thumbtacks stuck to the sliding door. Handle with the tape, a frightening trap. A potent, terrifying trap. Wow, she's kind of sadistic. Concealed by using the blackboard racer. An impressive combination, Sadako. But in the end, nothing more than a trivial shenanigans of a child. I shared my victory, I threw the door open, and stepped into the room. I felt something strange in my ankle. It was similar to the sensation of a jump rope catching my leg. Oh no, not one of these! By the time I realized that she had me hook, line, and sinker, it was already too late. I began to fall in the utmost picturesque manner. Hanging from my leg, I'm sure. Kei-chan, watch out! Instinctively reacting to Mian's shrill warning, I twisted my body in midair before I landed on the floor. Ow, ow, ow! An inkstone filled to the brim was placed right where I would have landed. Oh, ow, that's gonna hurt. I shuddered, imagining the situation had I landed on this. Had I landed square on it, oh my god. Well, aren't you different from the anime? You're actually wearing a dress. My mind, what do we have here? A fair morning to you, Keiji son. Aren't we a lively one this morning? Still sprawling in an awkward position, I was greeted by a mocking voice. That was a step from your usual trap, Sadako. Step up. Oh my god, there's that evil expression. I haven't the faintest idea of what you mean. You're quite unlucky this morning. You little... Ow, ow, ow! It seemed I inadvertently sprained my back a little when I landed. I inadvertently sprained... Not, not to worry about it, sprained my back, not, no big deal. Better than landing on that inkstone. Oh, there it goes. Let's stretch out a bit. Oh, there we go. Back's all set. I'll hand gently rub my head. Pain, pain, go away. The small dainty hand continued to gently stroke my head. You didn't sprain your back or anything, did you? If you rub it like this, the pain disappears. Oh, I thought about asking how rubbing my head would help my back, but I didn't. It's not so much about what you actually do, it's the thought of that counts. Y yeah, thanks, Rika-chan. Pain's going away now. Yay, Rika-chan, good morning! 
Good morning to you, Renna. Good morning to all. Riki Chan greeted each verse with an adorable little bow. 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 It was infectious. Renna, Mion, and I all bowed back. You're such a good kid, Rika chan So much better than Sadako. I glared over in her direction. Sadako was whistling wild, rather deliberately trying to avoid eye contact. I am the very model of a good girl. A good girl wouldn't set those nasty traps, that's for sure. I'm not again with the wheel. Nothing but lies and slander. Exactly what proof? <laughs> I picked up Sadako by the back of her collar. Oh my god, this is nuts. In school? No, that's bullying. She looks like a misbehaving cat when I did. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's kind of... That's kind of funny. But a cat wouldn't be setting crap. Actually, my cats do. Cats aren't that much different than her. She's much harder to deal with. I beg to differ, game. I am so I am S O R R Y. Try saying that. I can't my index finger. I'm my thumb, letting it tremble as I brought it close to Sadako's forehead. I am against violence, you don't have any proof! Just so you know, my forehead flick really hurts. I can split plywood right in half. Eek! Oh, jeez. That's gonna happen. Stop! Get away from me! You beast! Don't say that in the way people will misunderstand. A small hand tugged in the back of my shirt. She's been lonely since you were gone for two days. Mika-chan really is just so... Ah! How can I do anything more after being told that? I gently raised my grip on Sadako, who at this point was on the verge of tears. She still had her eyes clamped shut. Uh, clamped shut? I read that right. <laughs> she braced herself with her forehead flick. doesn't bother me. Did yeah, that, that break was unheard of. Parents don't like me doing this. I don't know why. You mustn't cry, Sadako. Keep on fighting. Yeah! Rika gently petted the head of her prankster friend. You would never guess those two are the same age. I think Sadako could learn a thing or a million from Rika-chan, if I could be quite honest here. Next time, set an even more amazing trap. Thanks, Rika! Thanks! <laughs> as she observed the scene, Rena's expression grew ecstatic as she began to swoon. Oh, Sadako-chan is crying! Right, you can't take them home. Enough with the cl- ah. Oh, but, but, this is so cute! You can't, no matter how cute they are. But just for a bit is fine. Is fine? But I kept a cutesy face even as a rage's ideas spewed from her mouth. Like one Mian, Rena is ridiculously weak to cute things and always tries to take them home. Well, 
Good thing there's no babies or anything in this game, or else she'd be adopting. Really quickly. Object or person. Stealing is bad, but abducting people is even worse. <laughs> Thank you! Someone actually agrees with me about something. Give it up. And I can just look. Just look. Just looking is... That should be fine, right? Right? And I swooned over Sadako's crying form. If a girl ever goes missing in Himazawa, I'll be forced to turn right into the authorities. Okay, I'll be back in two seconds to do some stuff, and I'll be back and you won't even realize what happened. Be back in a flash. Back, bam. Didn't notice a thing, did ya? Alright. Back to... this. Forgive me, Rena. I'll be sure to bring you care packages when they put you away. The teacher's coming! Quickly, clean everything up! Sadako, dang stones of yours, right? Just from Mion's single statement, the entire mood of the room was shifted back to normal. Being stone was bad, but the thumbtacks stuck to the door handle were even bigger problem. I pulled the tape off carefully, making sure not to skewer myself. Even though Sadako was the one who set it up, everyone had to pick up after her. Good, do a quick save. By the time the teacher entered the room, the bedlam before the had been the bedlam from before had been neatly tidying up. Sorry about that. <laughs> we made it in time. Rise! Attention! Beyond gave out the morning commands. This music is so... Ah. It's difficult being the teacher for all these different grades in one classroom. She has to teach something different to each one. But naturally she ends up spending all her time with younger kids. Rena and Mian being the highest grade in the class end up mostly doing self-study. They even end up helping teaching, uh, they help helping teach the younger kids, so it seems like they can never get their own studies. Well, I don't English good. <laughs> They're actually way behind my studies have progressed too. They're actually way behind where my studies have progressed too. As a result, I'm pretty much taking over for the teacher and helping Rena and Beyond with their studies. You're a pretty good teacher, Kate, you couldn't. Easy to understand. I took like a breather after finishing highlighting an important section. Teaching is making me lose confidence. It makes me aware of how shallow my understanding of the subject is. They say that to teach someone something, you need to understand it backwards and forwards. So, while you're teaching us, you're getting in your own practice. In contrast, this person over here is quite laissez-faire about things. For one, isn't she supposed to be in a higher grade than me? Look, Mion, this is for your own good. If you don't take this seriously, there'll be trouble later on. With these marks... It's not like I'm aiming to go on a prestigious school. I'll be fine as long as I pick up what I need. Eh, to know for the entrance exams, a little at a time. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Her staunch defiance was really something else. This was a different type to be rela relaxed than somebody who already knew what was going to be on the entrance exams. Michan, Gage Kun, is doing his best to teach us. We need to try hard too! You're such a good and honest kid, Rana. I'll make sure you guys get accepted into a good school. What? <laughs> thanks so much! Especially you, Rena. Private lessons, just the two of us. Pri pri private lessons? A puff of smoke, shit like a halo, popped out of Rena's head. Oh, that's funny. Exactly what kind of private lesson is she fantasizing about that's making her turn so red? Stop with that state of mind, Gage. I know you're, you're a kid, you're a guy, but you gotta stop with this. Fantasizing. I like to hear the play-by-play -play about the next time. 
Amiya was flipping through her vocabulary flashcards, she threw out a casual question. So, in the city, do you have to study this much? If you don't know at least this much, you can't get into university. So you study just to get into university? Well, yeah, basically. Well, knowing this, that this stuff won't ever come in handy in the future, out here you can get into the university as long as your attendance is good enough. R really? Study equals entrance exams. Having that basic law of the universe so easily overturned sent me into a state of shock. That is right. There aren't really enough people around here to warrant weeding them out with an exam. If anyone can get into university, then there's no need to be at all uptight about this stuff, right? Well, it's true, but you should at least know stuff that's common knowledge. This old geezer thinks that instead of wasting time studying pointlessly, you should be spending your precious teen years doing more meaningful things, right? I was too profound for s it was too profound for a statement to simply laugh it off. I'm laughing it off right here just because it's so darn awesome. But since it was Mion, it probably didn't actually have that deep meaning. Yeah, quick save again. Because no me, I'll forget. In place of a chime, the sound of the principal waving a hand bell drifted through the classroom. Okay, John, we're done. We're done! It's a wonderful lunchtime! In a complete one hate from an unmotivated state, Mian gave the command that signaled the end of the morning period. Keiji kun, let's have lunch! I might have been making a very troubled face. Ernest smiled brightly at me. Alright! Let's see. There seem to be a different cliques. Even within the class. Most of them were divided by up by gender and age, but our group was different. Our ages were different and had when we had both boys and girls, my eyes aren't keeping up with the words, I'm sorry. But we weren't reserved around each other. Nope, not at all. This level of openness makes a transfer student like me pretty happy. Ren and Mion pushed the desk together so they were facing each other. At the same time, Sadako and Rikachan were slowly lugging the desk over as well. Keiji-chan! Keiji-kun! Hurry, hurry! Ren waved her chopsticks in an undefined manner, trying to hurry me along. Unless everyone was together, they wouldn't even open the lunchboxes. That's so adorable. Keiji-san's lunchbox is mostly, is most assuredly filled with nothing but bread crust, like some sort of destitute oblivion. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Sadako, you are very sadistic. Why don't you just show it to us? Come on now. Even though Sadako was hurling really insults at me, she still wouldn't open the lid on her lunchbox until I was there. I pulled up my lunchbox swiftly and dragged my chair over to join the circle. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Well then, representative me, please give the signal to start. At first, this was kind of embarrassing, but I got used to it pretty fast. At this point, I probably wouldn't even open my own lunchbox if someone else was too slow. Our ages and genders may have been all different, but we were all friends. Let's eat! The sound of our little five-part chorus echoed beautifully throughout the classroom. Really, though, I've gotten pretty used to this group made up of all girls. Of course, there are other boys in this class, but they were a lot younger, so they were scared to approach me. Well, that's to be expected. Younger boys just see older boys as scary. Yep. That was my middle school. That was my middle school days. Compared to the girls, well, at least these girls aren't picky. Look at all the side dishes in the middle where everybody was free to pick them. I thought girls would mind sharing a meal with a guy. So I was a bit flushed of joining him. However, Mion noticed that it teased me quite a bit. As the fruit of my efforts, I can now reach over and take sides from anybody's lunch. But my, my, my. Isn't Sir Keiichi's lunch extravagant today? 
I may, as Madame Sadko's an extravagant as well. The stewed stuff has a nice look to it, rather trendy. Buying into the fight that Sadako was starting, how chopsticks launched or locked in a cross counter, stabbing into each other's lunch. My, how delicious! Oh, this is Taro! This is good! The, stu the stewed stuff is too cold. Oh my god, I can't speak! The stewed stuff is good too, even cold! I have to see my happy face. Riga chan's expression broke into a little smile. Oh, it's so adorable. I saved some from dinner last night. By the way, Sadako and Rika chan's lunches are always the same. It seems that Rika chan makes it for both of them every day. Rika chan made this too! These taste like mom's home cooking. I was honestly impressed. The carrot rosettes weren't from a mold. They were done by hand with a knife. That's not easy to do! I guess Rika chan is just a good at this sort of thing. She's really good at sewing, laundry, and stuff like that. Amazing, right? Amazing! Oh, uh, Rina. Oh my god, the face. Rika is quite exceptional in many ways. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be my, uh, Sanko laugh. That's nothing for you to boast about. And it's actually better at cooking than I am. Huh? Uh, well, you know! It seemed that the topic of conversation switched to Rena when she wasn't expecting it, making her blush and trip over her words. Rena's lunch really was the star of the table. Not only did it look good, it tasted good. Everyone else pulled from Rena's lunchbox constantly. Everyone liked this one so much before, so I made a lot this time. It's good, I hope. I hope. It's got high marks for me. Beyond, you're taking too much. Knocking on chops to the side, I reached out, trying to secure my own portion. Sadako and Rika-chan reached over at the same time, and I struggled. And a struggle ensued. Everyone shoveled in mouth wall at the mouth of all crazy. And Rana's lunchbox was soon empty. Ah, oh, poor Rana, you... She gotta go hungry now. What the heck is everyone doing, including me? A uh, bad, bad person. It was kind of bad how one thought to leave and That's what I'm saying! But Rena seemed rather satisfied as she looked on. How would you like it? Isn't Rena san an extremely good cook too? Quite different from, Ke from Keiichi san. I said it's nothing for you to boast about. You're not much different case from Keiichi Sako. Satako. Ah, my words. I'm dying to run up. Can you tell the difference between broccoli and cauliflower yet? Sadako's face went pale. <laughs> hey! Even I can tell the difference between broccoli and cauliflower, you know. Of course I can! I really can! It's really hard for her to lie. Gage couldn't both taste good when they're boiled on top with mayo, right? You shouldn't be picking on her. Ichan too. I hurriedly tried to follow up, but Mian laughed hardly as she drew close to the Sadako. Oh, well, just pretending to be a little home mech lesson. Nothing, Sadako. What's this? Now lifted up her chops. Between them was a piece of green stuff wrapped in bacon. But that's asparag. We all made eye contact with me, and within. Three seconds, I had Rika Chan's mouth covered. Only a piece of breaking wrap this baking wrapped asparagus and give her two choices. She's pretty terrible. That actually sounds pretty good. I wouldn't mind bacon. Oh my god, I have bacon jerky. I forgot I have bacon jerky. Oh. Ho, ho. Do not underestimate the bacon. Oh my god. Um, well, we almost got it far. No, we will not got it far. Do you want to remember the email bacon card? Don't worry, huh? Probably the yellow one. It's 
rock green and the blue one is cauliflower. But the green one is, uh... Do you really know which was which? How about you just give up? Throw me on. Oh, that bacon jerky was great. I expect no less from the class representative. Leave it to gory anime game visual novel to make people want to eat bacon. The eldest. The way she drives people into a corner just shows how much experience she has. This is just a hunch, but being brought into the Sunozaki household must be quite the old deal. I do know! I really do! The answer to the question! I I know! I know! I know! That, that, that's the uh, awesomeness of a four-year-old, right? I think she's like seven or eight, I'm not sure. She finally broke down and started crying. When she acts like this, she actually starts to seem her age. And traps for seven or eight-year-old? Or nine-year-old? That's impressive. <laughs> How cute! Rina, okay. She entered a state of euphoria, Sadako balled her eyes out. You were messed up, Renner. <laughs> she was in a state of bliss as she rubbed her cheek against Sadako's head and smothered her. Really, a very content face. One that wouldn't care if the world ended right then. It was that kind of smile. Rena, Rena, Mimi is picking on me. <laughs> And, uh, it's okay, Rena. Oh, Nate-chan will take care of all of those bad people. Who tease my little sister. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? Fish boof bam. It was like a flash of lightning. What, what was that just now? Both of Rena's fish shot out at supersonic speeds, striking the enemy squarely on her faces. Whoa, before we knew it, Mihan and I were sprawled, spread eagle on the floor, staring up at the ceiling with matching bolts on our faces. <laughs> this is the first time you've gotten one, right? Today, she went easy on us. The easy? You mean there's something harder than this? That, Mihan and I both slumped our heads back to the floor in unison. From now on, I'll be careful when I'm striking distance of Rena. Well, this is a long... First part. I'm gonna quick save again. Are you guys enjoying this so far? You, or you, you wanna know what happens more in the future? You just want me to stop and wait till Kalana comes out. I, I'm liking this so far, it's kinda cool. See Sadako chan? I took care of the. Oh, she's still in the euphoric bliss. She didn't even care if she punched me in the face. She didn't even care if she punched me on in the face. She just wants to take home Sadako. Oh, cute! You see? How are you guys enjoying this? Damn, oh my god. I'm gonna take you home! Making sure Rena couldn't see it, Sadako stuck her tongue out at us. Damn it all! Using Rena like a puppet? Rikichan messaged her. <laughs> Rikichan massaged her bruises without saying a word. Finally, we get to go home! Homie time! No matter what the day had held, the last school bell always came too soon. Our shadows stretched off into the distance. Hey, Keiichi-kun, tomorrow? Do you have plans or anything? Or anything? Huh? It was such a direct question from Rena, I inevitably blushed. If it was for a date, then wouldn't you do it more subtly? Rena saw me lost for words and realized that I misunderstood and turned red as well. Uh, uh, no, no, I didn't mean it like that, you see? So apparently that wasn't what she meant. But since it always fun with Rena's panic, I went along with it a little. Uh, oh, really? So it wasn't meant that way? H huh? Playing it up, I slumped my shoulders. Any objection? Dejection. Kishikun, why are you so disappointed? Why? Why? 
Bichon! <laughs> Unable to hold it back any longer, Mion slapped me on the back. I see, this old geezer never knew you could push buttons like that. Huh? What, what, what is it? Meow was rolling on the floor, clutching her stomach, while Red flailed around completely bewildered. I couldn't help but start laughing as well, feeling just a bit guilty. Gu 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 guilty. I rolled the friend here. Kidding, sorry, it was a joke. That was my fault, okay? She really is a cute one. Huh? <laughs> a joke? Since when? Since when? Uh, about halfway through, you could say that. Halfway? So, okay, John, that means you weren't acting when you blushed at the stars. Did that mean it was only a momentary lapse? Uh, there was no way Mion would let such a delectable detail slip by her. If I know really Mion, that is true. Well, you see, saying anything more was also bad idea. In my bewildered state, I slipped further into an unfavorable position. Oh my god, this music! I can't say enough good things about this. After that, Meow continued to tease me about it for a while. Did I start saying Meow instead of Meow? Anyway. So why were you asking me if I'm free tomorrow, Rena? Uh, oh, uh, what were we talking about? It had been so long I'd run out of forgotten. That's long Mion had teased me. It's just Kei-chan, you probably can't find your way around in Mazar by yourself yet, can you? That was true. I hate to say it, but if you blindfolded me and spun me around three times in... Like we were playing Pin Tail and Donkey, I wouldn't be able to tell my way up from the... Oh, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, I don't think I know how to get anywhere besides back and forth from school. Y yeah, yes, yes. So you see, tomorrow we were thinking that Michan and I could escort you through the Mazara and show you around. That would be a godsend. Frankly, I was happy about the offer. I would be too, dude. You come, of course, right? If I'm free. You're being invited by a girl, you know. If I'm free. Okay, I like his sarcastic tendencies. He sounds like me. You're probably free anyways. If I'm free. I was being stubborn, so as not to give a clear yes or no. Even though I thought it was a godsend, I'm too much of a scamp to say, uh, say so up front. Can't you could You're not free, perhaps? Perhaps? While well, Mion and I had our rather sour back and forth, Rena peeked over at me hesitantly. Figuring I'd been up to a bit of a rough... Figuring I'd been a bit too rough on her, I just gave in. Sorry, forgive me. I apologize. I'm free. Free! The trepidation disappeared from Rena's face as it blossomed into a smile. Hey now, hey now! Seems like there's quite a difference between how cold you are to me compared to Rena, isn't there? Well, you kind of punched me in the face earlier, so... No, no, that was Rena, sorry. But you're kind of rude, so... Yeah, you were rude. Seems Mion didn't care how far... how rude it was to her, compared to how quickly I agreed with Rena. But her being annoyed was very interesting. So I pushed Rena forward, speeding up our pace to leave Mion behind. Let's go, Renna. Maybe it should just be the two of us tomorrow, leaving grumpy old Mion behind. <laughs> whoa, 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 if Keishiko is okay with that, then... I'm the one who came up with the idea to take him around. Don't ignore me, Keiji Mayabara. It'd be great if the two of us could go on a picnic together. Should we bring a basket, Renna? If we're bringing a basket, I'll make the food. Maybe, maybe. Don't you ignore me too, Rena. I'll tell everyone that you two disappeared into the hotel district together. 
Wow, Beyond, you're, you're a straight shooter. Ooh! Whoa! Well, I'm going to home right now to start making it. I, did they just punch in the face? By Beyond? Tomorrow's going to be so fun. Later, Cage, you couldn't. Me, Chan. Bye! We're gonna bound it off like she was walking in the moon. After the dust settled, all that was left on the standing... That was left was me standing next to Mion sprawled out on the ground. That was a well time. Wait. Oh, Serena punched in the face. Oh. Are you alright? There was over two meters between you guys. Since, since you came, there's... They've become sharper. This whole Gia's body can't handle it. Maybe it'd be easier if you stop saying stuff that makes Renner want to hit you. So yes, that would be easier. Or else this would end up being high on slapstick comedy hour. If that happened, the results might be fatal. Foreshadow. Don't feel bad, Mion. Probably the only one who can dodge their jabs. Felt like it was a needle. It could have been that we were hanging around with an unrivaled martial arts master. Maybe someday we'll see her debut in an extreme contact sport. Like, what? Murder sprees? Killing? You can't lose the runner. You need to train up and have a rematch. K-Chan, you should... This old geezer will root for you. Mion and I reaffirmed our determination to discover our way to counter runners in valuable technique. Or oh, unfilable. Infallible. I, I, I got it right, right? Higurashi. When they cry. I think this is a good place to stop for right now. You just need new tips. We're a mixed grade. We don't have a uniform. Save and load. Oh, there's ten. Oh, my God. There's ten chapters. Whoa. Okay, it's the end of chapter one, guys. If you want to see more, definitely, definitely comment in below the video itself. Tell me what exactly you liked about this video, and if you really want me to play Clonad when I do get it in November. I feel this is a good diff change of pace for once. It's all about action. It's all about horror games these days. Well, how about you go through a story version? of a horror game. Okay, I do promise you, Higurashi is a horror genre. You just don't know it yet. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys and gals. Leave a like, let me know how much you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Jimmy out.